Hello, welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In today's TA Tech Tip, we will talk about how to set up an experiment on horizontal dilatometers. All dilatometers have the same software interface. To start your experiment, click on the DIL802 icon, and once it's on, select Measuring. The status should show as green to start the test. Select New Measurement, and a new option screen will come up with multiple tabs. The Parameter tab has information you can input such as operator, program, and test name, and sample material. Click the temperature program button to set up your experiment. Press the new segment button and enter the maximum temperature you wish your experiment to go to, as well as the heating rate. Select the time button to calculate how much time the furnace will need to get to the maximum temperature. If you need to run isothermal, that is also possible. Press new segment enter the amount of time you need, and press the button to keep the heat rate at zero. Controlled cooling is also possible. Press new segment, enter the cooling rate, and press time. Remember that you need to have active cooling in order to control the cooling rate. For a horizontal dilatometer, you need to input your initial length manually. To do this, measure the initial length using a caliper and entered into the appropriate space in the software. Once you have entered it, press Apply. On the DIL802, since we have an inert material, we will need to select the proper measuring system so the software knows which inert material you're using. The atmosphere and the compare sample is required for your information only, and it does not get factored into calculations. For most experiments, you will need to select the furnace temperature this can be found on the temperature control tab. Since we do have contact with the sample on the horizontal dilatometers, we will need to know the softening point. If you're sure your material will not soften during the experiment, you can simply disable the softening point. If you're not sure, you can enter temperature so the software can start looking at the softening behavior over that temperature. The instrument will do a final check to make sure everything is okay and then you can select Start. In this TA Tech Tip, we learned how to set up an experiment for horizontal dilatometers. Please stay tuned for more tech tips from TA Instruments. Thank you for your interest.